Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Defined in the OED. Bloodsuckers. Plays. Da plane, da plane. I hop. And when did it happen? Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. Here's Sarah from our Clue Crew with the clue. JFK won the presidential nomination at the Democratic National Convention in this year. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, you pick again, please. The U.S. declared war against Spain on April 25th of this year. Player one. Here is what we wanted. 1898. We return to you, Player One. Bastille Day in France commemorates an event on this date in 1789. Player One. Oh. No. Sorry. Here is the correct response. July 14th. Select again. The Sons of Liberty threw one heck of a tea party in Boston on December 16th of this year. Player one? Yeah! Yes, you're out of the hole. We return to you, player one. King John affixed his seal to the Magna Carta at Runnymede in June of this year. Here's the response we were looking for. 12.15. We return to you, Player One. The first commercial plane flights out of the United States were in 1920 between Key West and this nearby country. Here's the correct response. Cuba. We return to you, Player One. In 2004, this airline introduced non-stop flights between Newark and Shanghai Airport. Here's the correct response. Singapore Airlines. Select again. Flying at the then incredible speed of 575 miles per hour, the Boeing 707 began commercial flight service in this decade. Here's the response we were looking for. The 1950s. Please pick again, player one. This U.S. company created the venerable DC-10 jetliner. Here's the correct response. McDonnell Douglas. Please pick again, player one. The first commercial passenger transatlantic service was by Pan Am in 1939 between New York City and this French port. Here is what we wanted. Marseille. Select again. Shadow of the Vampire details the production of this 1922 F.W. Murnau film. Here is the correct response. Nosferatu. Player one, pick again. The Corys go after vampires in this 1987 film. We're talking about The Lost Boys. We return to you, player one. In 2012, Kate Beckinsale returned as Celine in the fourth installment of this Vampire vs. Lycan series. Here's the correct response. Underworld. You again, player one. The one name they all fear was a tagline for this 2004 blockbuster that starred Hugh Jackman. Here's the correct response. Van Helsing. Player one, pick again. In 2002, Aaliyah played this royal from Anne Rice's Vampire Menagerie. Here's what we wanted. Queen of the Damned. 
Player one, you pick again, please. The director of an orchestra or chorus. Yes, player one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> player one, pick again. A lofty tower forming part of a church. Player one. Correct. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. A large, many-celled berry with a leathery yellow, orange, or red rind. Here's the correct response. A pomegranate. Player one, pick again. A road junction designed so that traffic streams do not intersect. The correct response is an interchange. Player one, choose again. To move from site to site on the internet. Let's hear it, player one. <gasps> Sorry. That's wrong. Here's the correct response. To surf. We return to you, player one. You might need a learner's permit to watch Paula Vogel's Pulitzer Prize play, How I Learned to Do This. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> player one, choose again. The play Spinning into Butter explores political correctness at a small college in this Green Mountain state. Here's the correct response. Vermont. Player one, pick again. <laughs> Answer, <laughs> the Daily yeah. Double. You are in the lead right now. What'll it be? All right, here's your clue. Moonlight and Magnolias depicts the epic struggle to turn this novel into a 1939 film. You are correct. Select again. Matthew Burnett turned this Our Town playwright's novel, Theophilus North, into a play. The correct response is Thornton Wilder. You get to pick again, player one. In 2006, New Yorkers awoke to find his 1935 play, Awake and Sing, back on Broadway. Here's the correct response. Clifford Odets. You again, player one. The red type of this marsupial can leap over barriers as high as six feet. It's player one. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. This class of animals includes frogs and toads. Yes, player one? Woo! Right you are. <laughs> Select again. The hare named for this country between France and the Netherlands is actually a rabbit. Here is what we wanted. Belgium. You get to pick again, player one. A grasshopper shares the billing with one of these insects in the title of an Aesop fable. It's player one. Yep. <laughs> Let's have a look at the $1,000 clue. This tiny insect pest, Pulex irritans, can leap more than 130 times its own height. Okay, player one. In, here's what we were looking for, the flea. The Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Women's firsts. Under the sea. U.S. Bodies of Water, Sitcom Supporting Characters, Literary Bears, and Science Abbreviations. Let's get back into this now. You have control of the board. Rock me, Ann B. Davis. Ms. D. played housekeeper Alice Nelson on this sitcom from 1969 to 1974. Let's hear it, player one. That's it. 
Please pick again, player one. On this sitcom, Oscar Nunez is Oscar, Creed Bratton is Creed, Angela Kinsey is Angela, and Rain Wilson is Dwight. Here's the correct response. The Office. You get to pick again, player one. This sitcom's Niles. I have a session with my multiple personality. Here's what we were looking for. Frasier. We return to you, player one. One of the many supporting folks on this animated show, student Ralph Wiggum, said, Me fail English? That's impossible." Here's the correct response. The Simpsons. Select again. Randy, Crabman, and Willie, the one-eyed mailman, supported this NBC show. Here's the response we were looking for. My name is Earl. Please pick again, player one. This literary bear started life as a real teddy bear bought as a toy for Christopher Milne. It's player one. That's yeah! correct. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Created by Walt Morey, this docile bear lives in the Alaskan wilderness. Here's what we were looking for. Gentle Ben. Please pick again, player one. This bear got his name from the London train station where he was first found after arriving from Peru. Yes, player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. On this doctor's island, you'll find a bear bull and an old woman made of vixen and bear. We're talking about Dr. Moreau. Player one, back to you. His story, The Bear, recounts an annual hunting expedition in Yoknapatawpha County, Mississippi. Here is what we wanted. William Faulkner. Player one, you pick again, please. There's a phase of sleep, abbreviated N-R-E-M, which stands for No This Eye Movement. Okay, player one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> please pick again, player one. In computer science, GUI is this kind of user interface. Player one? Yeah. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. As opposed to an MD, a DO is a doctor of this holistic practice. The correct response is osteopathy. Player one, you pick again, please. The T in TSH stands for this gland. The SH is for stimulating hormone. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. The lowercase r in RRNA stands for this adjective. Player one. You got it. <laughs> You get to pick again, player one. Admiralty Inlet and the Hood Canal are the two main branches of this irregular inlet in the northwest corner of Washington State. Here's the correct response. Puget Sound. We return to you, player one. Although only about 1.5 square miles in area, Lake Conneaut, south of Erie, is this state's largest natural lake. Here's the correct response. Pennsylvania. Player one, back to you. The Gila River joins this river near Yuma, Arizona. It's player one. Woo! That's it. <laughs> player one, back to you. And yeah! <laughs> one of the daily doubles. You are in first place. You need to select your wager. And the clue. One of the world's longest multiple arch dams helped form this state's Grand Lake of the Cherokees.
Here is the correct response. Oklahoma. Player one, back to you. This river that connects Lake St. Clair and Lake Erie provides part of the border between Michigan and Ontario. Here's what we were looking for, the Detroit River. Player one, pick again. We're flying past 10,000 feet on our way to this. The altitude will maintain en route 35,000 feet. Player one. Here's what we were looking for, cruising. Player one, back to you. Here's Sarah with the clue. Ledger lines are for notes that don't fit on the five-line staff, like this note that can be shown one line below the treble staff or one line above the bass staff. Here's the response we were looking for, middle C. Player one, pick again. The modern Hebrew and Arabic alphabets consist only of this type of letter. Here's what we were looking for, a consonant. Player one, back to you. It's the South American national capital city that fits the category. Here's the response we were looking for, Caracas. Player one, pick again. Found in South Africa in 1905, this 3,106 carat diamond went to Amsterdam for cutting. Here is what we wanted, the Cullinan. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Let's show her a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. She's the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here's the correct response, Aretha Franklin. Please pick again, player one. All right, here with the clue is Sarah. In 2007, Drew Gilpin Faust became the first female president in the 371-year history of this picturesque university. Here's the correct response. Harvard. Player one, back to you. <laughs> Answer. The other daily double. You are in first place. Decide on your wager, player one. All right, here's your clue. Registering as Kay Switzer in 1967, Catherine Switzer became the first woman to officially enter and run this race. That's right, way to go. Player one, back to you. Frances Perkins became the first woman cabinet member when FDR put her to work as secretary of this. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> and the $2,000 clue? Wilma Mankiller was the first woman to serve as principal chief of this Southeast Native American tribe. Here's the response we were looking for, Cherokee. Looks like you'll be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this commercial break. This is the Final Jeopardy category for today. The C. What are you going to wait? Now, let's reveal the final Jeopardy clue. National seas include the Irish, the Philippine, and this one bordered to its west by Iceland. Let's see your response. Sorry, that incorrect response will drop your score by... The correct response is the Norwegian Sea. Yeah! Player one, congratulations to you. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time.
Cat Party. Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Unofficial state nicknames. Biology. Women writers. Our founding fathers. On Broadway. And that's so cliche. Player one, start us. Seward's Icebox. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. The Switzerland of America and the highest state. It's player one. <laughs> good. Player one, pick again. The birthplace of eight presidents. Yes, player one. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> player one, pick again. Sarah? Though it's called the Star-Spangled Banner State, this is its flag. Player one. Player one, you pick again, please. The coal state and the birth state of the nation. Player one. Right. <laughs> you again, player one. Neurospora crassa is this type of fungus. It grows on bread, but in the wild is found on burned vegetation. It's player one. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. Stomata. Leaf pores that take in this gas enlarge when its level in the air drops below normal. Yes, player one? You got it. <laughs> player one, pick again. To help make sure your brain stays fueled, give its cells less of this hormone for glucose uptake. It's player one. Right. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. Linus Pauling found the structure of keratin, the main component of nails and this human body part. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. Select again. About 25 species of this arachnid, most in the family Buthidae, have venom that'll kill you. 1,200 others sting like a bee. Player one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Player one, pick again. Troubled by the Fugitive Slave Law of 1850, she wrote what became an immediate bestseller. Okay, player one? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you again, player one. This author created the vampire Lestat, the bad boy of the blood-sucking world. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Not published until 2004, Suite Francaise is by Irene Nemirovsky who died in this concentration camp in 1942. Okay, player one. 
Yes! yes. <laughs> Player one, back to you. It was curtains for Hercule Poirot in her 1975 mystery, Curtain. Yes, player one? <laughs> right. <laughs> you again, player one. She wrote the 1970 novel, Play It As It Lays, and the 2011 memoir, Blue Nights. Okay, player one? <laughs> that is correct. Player one, choose again. Here's Kelly. The southwest wall of the Thomas Jefferson Memorial displays an excerpt from this document, of which Jefferson was the primary author. It's player one. Yeah! Good. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. At age 15, he was a bell ringer at the Old North Church. 25 years later, he told the church sexton to light two lanterns. It's player one. Woo! That's right, way to go. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. He served jointly with William Hunter as postmaster general of the colonies from 1753 to 1761. Okay, player one. <laughs> good. Please pick again, player one. On April 24th, 1778, this naval hero captured the Drake, the first British ship defeated in war by an American ship. It's player one. Right. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Before he was on the $10 bill, this first Treasury Secretary was one of the 39 signers of the Constitution. Yes, player one? <laughs> right. Please pick again, player one. Two snugly cute characters in Avenue Q aren't called the bad news these, but the bad idea these. Yes, player one? <laughs> Select again. Many of this Jonathan Larson musical's famous fans have gone backstage to add their names to a long graffiti wall. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Fantasia of American Idol played the role of Seeley in The Color This. It's player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Spring Awakening is an alt-rock musical based on an 1891 play that Frank Wiedekind originally wrote in this language. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right you are. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Huey Lewis, Harry Hamlin, and George Hamilton have all been tapped to play tap-dancing lawyer Billy Flynn in this musical. Okay, Player one. Good. <laughs> Player one, back to you. Need something? Well, just come to the point and stop beating around the this. Player one? Yes. We return to you, player one. The final outrage is the straw that breaks this animal's back. It's player one. That's correct. You again, player one. People who meet briefly and then go their separate ways are like these that pass in the night. Okay, player one. Yes. We return to you, player one. Answer. It's the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. Decide on your wager, player one. Here is your clue. You've been in trouble if someone has read you this act.
And now the $1,000 clue. An indefinitely long time is often referred to as a month of these days. It's player one. We're talking about Sundays. The Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. The Quasi-War with France. Insects. NBA nicknames, Nigeria, literature, and seeing red. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. On June 21st, 1798, this president told Congress he was going to break off relations with France. Yes, player one? That's right, <laughs> way to go. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Preparations for war included adding ships like the USS Constitution, nicknamed this in the War of 1812. Okay, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Please pick again, player one. USS Constellation beat both La Vengeance and L'Insurgente in this sea where the U.S. enjoyed a home field edge. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Good. <laughs> player one, pick again. The rally cry of the Americans during the fight was millions for this, but not one cent for tribute. Player one. That's it. <laughs> Player one, pick again. In October of 1797, the United States met with agents of France known by these three code letters. Okay, Player one. Yep. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type not the house or field type. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, pick again. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton growing areas of the United States. Yes, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. We're talking about the bull weevil. Player one, pick again. Like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one, pick again. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. Player one.
We're talking about wing. Player one, choose again. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Here's the correct response. The grasshopper. Player one, back to you. MJ. It's player one. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Pistol Pete. Okay, player one. Good. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Sir Charles. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player one, choose again. <laughs> Answer. The first yeah. of the daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. How much? And the clue. Mr. Clutch. That's it. You again, player one. Hondo. It's player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. As part of its 19th century territorial expansions, this nation colonized the Nigerian port of Lagos in 1861. Player one? No. no. Sorry. Here's the correct response. Great Britain. Select again. Known for his satire, Woli Soyinka became the first black African winner of this prize for literature in 1986. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Good for you. <laughs> Select again. About a third of Nigeria's states in the heavily Muslim north follow this Islamic law system. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. Following ethnic clashes in 1966, the eastern part of Nigeria declared itself the Republic of This in 1967. Let's hear it, Player One. That's correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Nigeria's first planned city. It was built in the 1980s and officially dedicated as the nation's new capital in 1991. Player one? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Published in Spain in 1605, this classic of world literature was an instant hit. Okay, player one. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> player one, back to you. Of 50, 200, or 500, the one closest to the number of characters in War and Peace. Yes, player one? That's right, way to go. 
Please pick again, player one. This title Sir Walter Scott character is torn between Rebecca and the Saxon Rowena. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. In his The Trial, bank official Joseph K. is on the defensive as the accused. It's player one. Here's what we were looking for, Franz Kafka. Player one, back to you for our next selection. In a Thomas Hardy novel, Michael Henchard is the mayor of this title place. Player one. Good. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. From the color of a penny, this term for something trivial often follows the words not worth a... Yes, player one? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. The website of this brand of candy, similar to Twizzlers, said it's a favorite of Tom Hanks and Brad Pitt. It's player one. Yeah! Right you are. <laughs> You get to pick again, player one. In 1991, this Texan and his firefighting team extinguished more than 100 oil well fires in Kuwait. Okay, player one. That is correct. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. She brushed up her Shakespeare in 2011, starring in one film by the bard, Coriolanus, and one film about him. Anonymous. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> and the two thousand dollar clue. And so, yeah, yeah. the second Woo. daily double. And you're in the lead now. Please enter your wager. Answer. The Molly Pitcher Inn is a delightful waterfront hotel in this New Jersey town. Right you are. You are moving on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. Everything depends on Final Jeopardy, of course, so let's take a look at the category, shall we? Landmarks, you need to select your wager. This is a good category. Here's the clue for you. The quote, with malice toward none, is on the wall of his Washington, D.C. memorial. put as your response. And that correct response will add... Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You're the winner. Thanks for playing, everybody. See you next time.